Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to the continuing adventures of Applejack. As she treks through the dungeon, where we last we left off, I had stomped my way down through uh, most of the remaining dungeon and stopped short of Zot itself. Um, I've acquired a massive, massive array of uh, negative mutations. Uh, let's just count real quick. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9? 8 or 9 negative mutations, with one positive mutation given by a, a similar malmutation source, uh, the Nekoksek. Um, let's go ahead and dump the rotting yeah, raw flesh I've gotten in here for some reason. Uh, the good news is most of these mutations, for those of you who didn't pay attention, are of the minus one plus one variety or the uh, food variety. These are all related to food. This is related to uh, uh, Berserkeritis, which is the biggest risk I have, but it kind of crosses over into food since it makes you hungry when you don't mean to need to be. Losing 20% MP is meaningless to me. Frail would be a big deal, and it does cost me a lot of health, almost 25 health, but, uh, you know, that still leaves me at 250. Um, so, despite the fact that I'm so horribly malmutated, it's not a big deal. Actually, I'm I'm fairly good sh in fairly good shape. I also have enough restore abilities that I can stave off the stat rot s temporarily, with three tiers of resist fire, and a switch ring that can give me two tiers of resist cold instantly by taking away one fire and putting on a new. Yeah, you 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 know what I'm saying. Uh, I'm in pretty good shape to take on Zot. At least I think so. Um, I've already cleared out the Abyss to get the Abyss Rune, which sets me in really good shape for... which it gives me a sense of my power level. I've taken on Bone Dragons without too much difficulty, uh, and I've killed Ancient Liches. So really, it's just uh, the Orb of Fire that I haven't faced yet. So, without further ado, let's see if she will become the Pony of Destiny who actually wins the game. Third Pony in, into Zot. Alrighty. Um... Hmm. I don't like it. I don't like it because that's an ice dragon, and ice is the one element I'm not resistant to, so let's go ahead and actually make good on that I can do this if I need to thing and switch to ice defense. Actually, let's get rid of regen HP. No, no, we, we do need to get rid of the, the fire ring for the remaining. There we go. Maxed out defenses. Conservation available. Charge it down. Oh, God. We all... They went Berserk. Oh, we all went Berserk. Good. I was going to say, if I'm not Berserk and they are, that's bad. But if they're all Berserk, we're all Berserk. Good. Alright, we'll eat as much of this as we can get away with. Uh, and I'm going to have to put on the Strength Ring again because of Burdening. Uh, we'll replace the resist select RC stealth plus plus. Yes. Actually, in all honesty, I probably would be better off skipping HP regen, the ring of vitality, in favor of an extra resistance, and switching it back on if I'm in a situation where I need to gain health on the run. I mean, front-loading the 15 HP is nice, but it's just 15 more health on a character who has so many, so, like, 200 plus. Oh, man, I hate this mutation so much. This Berserk mutation's gonna kill me. Because between that and all of the food that I constantly need to eat because of greater-than-troll-hungering status of my mutations. I'm gonna be permanently hungry slash starving. Uh. Oh my god, you've got to be kidding me. Uh, resist mutations, obviously a must. Um, I have three tiers of resist fire, so let's just go in on this. Okay, we just pummeled it to death, and by the looks of it, I was not mutated in the process. Good. 
Good. Uh, let's switch back on conservation. All right, pretty standard spread. Let's get out of the way, and then we'll start punching them. All right. Final level up is to strength again, because this way, even with stat rot three, I still have enough to run the, uh, the suit that I'm wearing. Gold dragon armor at full power. All right. Just take me in there and beat it up. I no longer have the luxury of taking full time to regen after every fight. Give me a Choco, that dragon's gonna fill me up, hopefully. Yep. I didn't want to fight while starving, I'm pretty sure there are penalties associated with that. Wait, why am I clearing out this floor fully at this point? I don't even know. Uh, we should just be floor diving, quite honestly, at this point. Um as safely as possible, but there's no there's no real incentive to full clear Zot floors when you're at full XP, EXP, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, mm -hmm. I mean, yes, if I see multiple staircases, I'm obviously going to check them out, because that will make the Zot run easier in the end, or the orb run easier in the end. Just a couple shooting trips. Do I have our luck up? Good, I do. <laughs> I love this. I'm, I'm, I, this is a good problem to have. Choosing which of the many uh, awesome rings I want to wear rather than not having any good rings to wear. Okay. I'm no longer sick and I'm no longer hungry. I have experienced stat rot 4, however, so. Next time I actually am hungry, I'm probably gonna go for a... Like, next time I'm hungry enough to need permafood, I'll probably go for something of the stat-restoring variety. Oh, for God's sake, stop running, asshole. I have a resist to luck, right? Okay, good. Then this golem shouldn't be too hard. I have mastered unarmed combat. I am now Applejack, the cruiserweight champion. Hell yeah! Next up is going to be a uh, fighting skill for my HP total. Ooh, there's the way down. Huh, interesting. Let us explore and then unexplore this route. It is the rapid way to get out. It is actually probably the preferable way when doing the orb run to try and get out. So I'm going to put marks around it so I try and remember that there's something worth looking into there. Try another staircase, near starving. Perfect. Royal Jelly, I have full stats. Ball of Steam. Includes their vision just as well as mine. Sack a corpse. Beat up a corpse. That's one down staircase I deed. I mean, I'm being kind of sort of non-systematic in my approach here for a reason. The reason is that I can get away with it. Yes, no, no, restore. Alright, kick, kick, kick. Uh, get out of the way. At least one of these is a caller. Thank God for gold dragon armor and poly resist, huh? Okay, I've got you all in the line. In fact, oh, I don't have fire breathing as a mutation on uh, this character at any rate. Alright, all these guys are dead. I have chunks worth of food waiting, so I'm going to go ahead and turn on regen ring temporarily to uh, maximize the speed at which I use up my current food and regenerate. Perfect, and I went berserk, so I will be hungry for sure when I should have been hungry for sure, but I'm not. Well, it's all over. Let's go ahead and just gain back health. Drop E, pick up the new dragon flesh, and move on. Okay, next floor. That's sufficient clearing that when it's time to do the orb run, I'll be safe. 
No, don't ignore it. Drop a wand or something. Uh, make room for it. Uh, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna use the wand of heal, uh, heal wounds on myself. That was a mistake. I should have used the potion. And I should have waited till I was at full health. That was just stupid. Sorry. Heal wounds potion to restore to full health. Read scroll of recharge on my heal wounds wand. It is maxed. Grab strawberries and move on. Alright. Sack that. Get me to the next floor. Actually, you know what? Before I go to the next floor, show me the middle of this floor. What am I dealing with exactly? Yes, walk into a cloud of flame. It's not like I can go anywhere else. Once you hit level 27, suddenly being drained is no longer that scary. Uh, because typically you're so far beyond the, the maximum. I don't even know if it tracks, honestly, your EXP beyond the maximum. But you're you're far enough that you can't be drained to below 27 by any reasonable number of draining attacks. You're more likely to die instead. So, and since draining only affects your EXP total for level purposes rather than for uh, stat purposes, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's helpful. Oh, perfect. Get me out. Go ahead and put on the resist elect ring. Uh, and we are in business, uh, grabbing something to eat before heading down the floor. We are in. Oh, this is Zot 4. Hmm. Well, maximum exits is good. Ideally, we want to take this exit when we come back up so that we can skip Zot 4 altogether, but uh, we'll see. We'll see what what ends up being convenient. I'm obviously not going to be picky. You know, maybe I shouldn't stand in front of where I'm getting attacked by four dragons at once. There we go. Much better. No, no. No, no. Okay, there's literally no clean corpses. Well, I'll have a dirty corpse then. There we go. Nauseated, but I did manage to get back to full. Roth, burn it. Okay, tentacled monstrosity, kick it. Golden dragon, kick it. Cob, kick it. Clean corpse, drop the dirty corpse meat. Carry the clean corpse meat. Keep moving. Hopefully, I come unnauseated in a timely fashion. I really wish potion of water would cure nausea so that it had a function. Oh, new exit. No, don't go through Zapri. Just take the stairs. Near starving, that should mean I can eat the gold dragon meat. Okay, eat all the gold dragon meat right now. Alright, we have now found two staircases out of Zot 5. If we see the third in our travails, we'll take it. If not, no biggie. I also have plenty of uh, scrolls of magic mapping for finding things purposes. Apparently, the orb guardian is capable of getting some serious, serious danger and- oh! He's berserked. That's the problem. Uh, blink. Blink again. Anything to give me some distance. Teleport. Start quaffing heals. I doubt it can do 20 damage per turn for several turns. Uh, this heal landed me in the worst possible position. the worst possible position. I forgot for a second where I was and I'm gonna pay for it. Fog, occlude line of vision, teleport again, heal. I'm dead. There's just no way I'm gonna survive this. No way at all. Uh, shit. So where I went wrong was forgetting where I was. I activated the teleport, forgetting that on Zot 5 things only get worse. I should have gone with haste or speed, either of which would have been enough to get me out of range of the giant uh, berserk guy. 
his berserk status would have gone off, and I could have just summoned chump summoned berserk allies of my own to keep me alive. There's no reason I should have teleported, and it was a big mistake. Just forgot where I was, and I'm going to lose the game for it. 20 health is not going to help me survive. I don't have the dodge to survive. I can't blink to safety. Dispersal doesn't make any difference because there's five enemies, three of which can easily one-shot me and there's enemies behind them. Blink isn't going to put me in a safer position. I have no means of banishing myself to the abyss or something as a one-shot get me out of trouble instantly. Um. Um, I'm pretty sure at least one of these can see invisible, if not all of them. Yeah, that's one, two, yeah, they can all see invisible. It's not going to be enough. My best bet is to pray that teleport kicks in after this turn. There's nothing else that can save me. I'm at full resistance anyway for fire, so there's no point drinking a potion of resistance. So I've resigned myself to my death. Here's the potion to die on. Okay. I lived one more turn. If I take a step away from the... these two, then I will only be attacked by one, two, three, four, five enemies. If I stay put, I will still be attacked by five enemies, and one will be a moth. So there's really no point in just taking a step anywhere. So continue to heal. That's death. There was there was no saving. So that's what happens when you play this game and you're not paying attention to where you are. I was doing fantastic. I had everything I needed to win the Zot 5. And I threw it away for absolutely no reason. It's kind of sad, honestly. Hmm. Damn, I was so close. Well, moment of silence for Applejack is done. That this is like I'm just really embarrassed honestly because this is a classic classic example of playing too fast, making stupid mistakes, the very things that I specifically try not to do when I'm doing my main channel runs. And yeah, these were just for fun, my little pony runs and everything anyway, but it's just such a classic blunder to forget that you're on a minus C telly floor, that you're on Zot 5, so teleport isn't going to get you to safety, it's going to get you to trouble, especially before you've cleared the floor, and this is the, this is the price I paid. Um, only thing that crosses my mind is that I could have waited a turn before activating fog. I could have activated teleport first and fog second, but in I don't think that actually would have made a difference, all things considered, because they have three ranged attacks, and if they had been pelting me with ranged attacks from the first turn, I would have had to roll a lot better a lot earlier than I did. I could have hasted away from... All the solutions to this that have me living involve noticing the orb of the orb guardian was berserked and then responding appropriately. I did none of them. I used the blink scroll to get out of range. When it failed because of uh, minus C telly, I blinked again. I put an air gap between the two of us and then instead of summoning creatures to fill that gap, I hit teleport for some reason. And then after I had activated teleport, I realized how big a screw up I had done. So I started trying to chain heal myself which might not have been the worst thing I could have done. <sighs> Whatever. The more I think about this, the more it's going to upset me. I'm just going to go ahead and say GG. Applejack is just shy of my top 10. And it's a pity because if she had escaped, she would have been uh, one of my top 10 for sure. In fact, given how fast this win happened, she would probably have been in the top 5. Well... No, no, those are some speed runs in the top, so maybe she would have been lower than that. But it was a good run. It was a good run. It shows the viability, in my mind at least, of the unarmed centaur uh, 
running the dungeon are held, just the Berserker running the dungeon. And quite frankly, if an unarmed, by definition, centaur does this well, then I can only imagine how effective a centaur with a, a pr centaur appropriate weaponry would do. Like a centaur with a cross with, with a a longbow that went unarmed the other half the time, or that switched to any weapon they have a plus one in, would be pretty damn brutal. I think all the enchants you could get on it and all the damage you could do from a distance, it'd be it'd be pretty awesome. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Uh, it's a shame that Applejack died, but she died for my hubris. Uh, rather than to um, some bullshit spam tactic, which is always good. Uh, yeah, I will see you guys next time.